hi guys i'm back to do lesson 62 so um our starting with number one we have 17 children were on the bus 10 children got on at the third stop how many children are on the bus now so i've already gotten started here but i'm going to do 17 plus 10 because we had 17 and then we got 10 more so starting on the right side we have seven plus zero equals seven and then one plus one equals two so our number sentence would be 17 plus 10 equals 27 and when it asks for the answer it's also looking for a label so our answer is 27, but then it would just kind of leave 27 what? So it's important that we put children. Number two says finish numbering line, finish numbering the number line using the even numbers. So I'm going to continue counting up. So we have zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And now the direction says put a point at twelve, label it A. So if you put a point here at twelve, I'm gonna put A. And then it says, put a point at eight, label it B. So I'm gonna draw a point here and then put B. Number three says, match each fraction with the correct picture. So just move my paper over a little bit. We have one fourth. So we need to find the fraction that matches the number, the fraction number with the picture. So one fourth, I see that we have one, two, three, four pieces here and one is shaded. So I'm gonna draw my line there. One eighth, we need to look for one part that is shaded out of eight pieces. So we have, this is just two pieces. So that's not enough. But if I go up here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, and only one is shaded. So I need to draw my line there. One third, we have three pieces, one is shaded. And then our last one is one half. All right, scooting back over. We have to find each answer for number four. So we're adding 10. So once again, if you have a hundreds chart, that may be helpful to you. But we have 46 plus 10. So starting on the right side, we have six plus zero equals six and four plus one equals Five, you have 56. And then using what I know, mental math I would do on either of these or using my hundreds chart, I know that 10 plus 27 equals 37. All right, number five talks about, it says circle the shape that is congruent to the shape on the left. So congruent means same shape and same size. So what I will be looking here for here is a shape that is the same size as our shape here and it's the same shape. So it's not um, like tilted or like slanted in any way. We want it to be the same shape. So from what I see, it would be this one. And then this one, for example, has the same shape, but it's not the same size. 
So that they throw a couple of those in there to trick you. And then our last piece here is we have 54 cents plus 28 cents. So we are going to start with four plus eight. It's a little blurry, there we go. We have four plus eight, so I know that four plus eight is 12. So I need to start with my two here. And then we are going to bring the one from our 12 over to the next column. So I'm gonna just put it in the box. And we have five plus two equals seven. And then we need to add back in that one. So seven plus one equals eight. So our answer is 82 cents. Next one, 39 cents plus 21 cents. We have nine plus one equals 10. We put our zero here. We go to the next column and we add our one. Sorry for the background noise, guys. And then we have three plus two equals five. We need to add back in that one to get six. And then our last one we have is 24 cents plus 63 cents. We have four plus three equals seven. Since that is a single digit, we do not need to bring anything over to the next column. And we have two plus six equals eight, so 87 cents. All right, as always, let me know if you have questions. That is the end for Tuesday. Bye.